space. Well, you have an impeccable sense of timing as usual, Mr. Barnes. I was just leaving. I won't take much of your time, because it didn't take much of my time to figure out your little plan. What do you mean? <laughs> Did you really think I'd take that job that Wally Hampton offered me without checking it out? You mean Hampton offered you employment? That man must have lost his mind. Oh, don't play games, J.R. You figured I'd bite without looking, right? As a matter of fact, yes, I did. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yeah. Well, like uh, the greedy frog to the juicy fly, I thought you'd snatch it right up. Well, you're wrong. Win some, lose one or two, you know how it is. I must have you worried. I must have you really worried. I'm shaking in my boots. I want to tell you one other thing. There's no way you can keep me from seeing Sue Ellen anymore. Well, now, I wouldn't count on that. I plan to marry her one of these days. Well, Barnes, you're going to have to step over my dead body to do that. Whatever it takes. Rebecca, what a surprise. This is not a social call, Ellie. Rebecca, what's the matter? Maybe Digger was right. And when I was married to him, I was too young or too stupid to realize it. What are you talking about? Digger never had a chance. Jock was too shrewd, too strong and too fast. And now it's happening between J.R. and Cliff. It's the same fight all over again. Rebecca, will you please calm down and tell me what's happened? When I found out that Cliff was using Wentworth funds, I fired him. I think it's time you did the same with J.R. He used Ewing funds to destroy my son. Cliff is at Dallas Memorial in a coma. Oh my God. J.R. set him up. He lost everything. Last night, he tried to kill himself. No. Oh, Rebecca, I'm so sorry. If there's anything I can do... I don't want your help. I'm here to warn you. The Barnes-Ewing feud is still going on. It's always been an uneven fight. The rich Ewings against the poor Barneses. Well, now it's even. I swear I'll break the Ewing family. And I have the money to do it. I have to go to the hospital and see Cliff. No, Sue Ellen. I have to. I want to hear it from you, J.R. Did Rebecca tell me the truth? Yes, she did. And you drove Cliff to attempt suicide? How was I to know he was going to do a dumb thing like that? You don't care, do you? I told you before, Mama, I couldn't stand the idea of him being with Sue Ellen. Now, I didn't force him to embezzle from Wentworth to have died. And I didn't force him to get into a deal that he didn't check and double check. If that man is dying, it's because of his own greed, not me. You're a cold and insensitive man, J.R. And I'm going to remove you as president of Ewing Oil just as soon as Bobby gets back. Well, you don't know it yet, but you won't be able to do that. I'm going to go find Sue Ellen and talk some sense into her. 